What I'm about to tell you is an absolute game changer in the 3D printing space. If you have that great idea you're already making, or if you don't have that 3D idea that you're not making, this is something that will maximize more, more and do it right. But even if you're interested in amazing engineering, you need to check this out. No, it won't fix an intestinal parasite or if you have a hangover or if you have a breakup, but it will keep your 3D printer running more efficiently and longer than you can ever imagine. Let's take a look, but don't, don't tell anyone, man. <laughs> Ryan, I've been hacking things my whole life. So glad you're here. It's a rainy, rainy, rainy and cold day here in Raleigh, North Carolina. I have to tell you at the beginning of this video, I'm going to show you how it works, uh, this um, amazing product. And then I'm going to give you a sketch. I'm going to show you how what all the different pieces are. I do want to tell you that in the description, I put a few notes in terms of what to pay attention to in assembly. The Once you get everything set up, and that has to do with act, having your Prusa nice and tight and everything cleaned up on a level surface, it works. So the machine works. I'm going to be doing a live stream and I'm also going to be doing a skateboard run uh, on my lights today but this video is primarily to tell you that I received this product from these amazing engineers in Germany and it is stellar. I don't really run the printers at night because of I've had a lot of melts and stuff like that. I do have smoke alarms near my printers but the way that it works is you load a magazine and these little tabs on these plates which will go onto the heated bed grab grab onto a groove of this aluminum piece that is attached. That aluminum piece will pull the magazine, that particular bed, you can fit up to eight of them, Joe Box, or you can do six Prusa plates, I believe. It pulls it forward, and when it's done with that print, it actually flips it up, and then it scoots it away, and I made a little bin for it to fall into. So everything works well. So why don't we go over to my sketch pad right now, and I'm gonna talk to you about how it's made, how it works, and what the technology is around it so that maybe you can jump on the Kickstarter that's currently going on right now, or you're lucky enough to add this to your garage manufacturing um, arsenal, and you can get up and printing with that. But I really want a conversation about automated 3D printing to occur anyways in the comments. So if you're using a different solution, or if you're maybe this is something that would help you out, then let us know, you know, whether or not it's an arm knocking off a piece or something like that. I particularly have a little trouble pulling off some of my pet G prints from my printer. So this is a really good solution for my skateboard lights. So let's go over to my sketch pad and I'm going to basically talk about how this works. So what Urban Makers did is they went ahead and did an, an attachment at the front of the printer, which was right here, and they made an apparatus at the back of the printer, which is back here. This is where the magazine is held. So let's go ahead and draw the base of the Prusa right here. The base has two different feet. The Prusa has a good amount of weight to it. It's always picked up by a handle here at the top, more than you need to know. And then there is filament up here at the top that feeds it down to your extruder part. Um, and all the extruder stuff is right here. All right, you already know that, right? Okay, okay. What's really critical is that these feet is where the back magazine will hold. And there's two um, armatures that are created here. And those took, the total uh, time it took to assemble was about 20 minutes of, um, of assembly. And it was really, really well built. Um, is that how you sell assembly? I don't know. So anyways, back here is you're building this little apparatus that comes off the back. And it, it has a little holder and there's a little tiny um, blue different uh, blue holder basically that keeps your magazines, your plates all connected okay first thing i want to tell you is i installed that thing upside down so install that correctly that has the joe box um 
uh, job box. I don't know what they're calling it, but it holds the magazine. So that blue thing that's right there is critical. Make sure you install that correctly. And then what happens is that um, there is tiny little tabs that are put onto these aluminum, uh, onto the, the plates. There's an aluminum plate that you put onto the actual bed itself, and the bed will move back and forth. So we're gonna, the bed will move over here, which is critical, and the bed will move back. And these aluminum di little tiny recessed areas will grab those little black tabs right here and it will pull those black tabs through this area then what will happen is that the printer will actually come down and it will print whatever's needed whatever you're going to get done and this plate will come here and it will be flipped up by a special little um again that's the blue area there'll be a special little flipper and that flipper will flip up the actual plate and it will push it back down and it'll eventually push off the next plate. Your object is right here, okay, that you're printing. It's printing the next object. And this one that's already printed, it will dump it into a box of beautiful looking prints. So this is your baseline here. So what you're having is your assembly process is going from whatever direction that you set it up into. So you have your magazine here on this side right here, your print area, which is right here. And then whatever is your storage area right here. And so this, what I call is the flip area. That is the coolest thing that I ha that happens that I put in the earlier part of the video. So this is um, just a really cool product that is very well engineered. And I think you guys are really going to appreciate the robotic nature that you can have the power in your closet, home, garage, wherever that you put things. Whatever you do, make something that connects someone and make sure that you subscribe and hit that bell so you can see my upcoming live stream of me doing my skateboard lights for my boosted stealth that I need to use more. I should have used more in the summer when it was nice and warm. Peace out.